Skip and Amber, can't thank you enough. This is hard to leave you. <laughs> this is so amazing. You, you can stay if you want. Uh, <laughs> Allie, yeah, does. how far are we from New York? Yeah, you are very, very dear friends and I really, really appreciate it. Yeah, I love you, buddy. We're starting our day on a really lovely bike path that's coming out of Hood River and heading us um, eastward towards the Dells. It's a really beautiful stretch. We're looking out on the Columbia River and it's um, a perfect day for riding sunny blue skies. We have traded lush green forest for golden fields of grass. It's probably 20 degrees warmer out here. I'm guessing mid 80s right now. I'm really excited because I've never seen this part of Oregon. My first time my eyes are ever seeing this. My eyes are happy. It's very slight but you can see the fields of wheat just blowing in the wind. It's really cool. What a great Sunday to be with Allie riding bikes in the middle of nowhere. Once again, Skip comes through with a really beautiful route. Wow. Just moments ago, I was talking about how Skip sent us on the best route ever. Problem is you have to pay attention to the route. All these small roads are easy to get lost. And now we're way off route. The sun is gonna set, this sucks. <laughs> we have to backtrack like an hour. Um, and it's a beautiful road, but we were already, we're already at We're ready to be done. And, and if we could just- I'm tired. If we could fly where we need to be is five miles that way, but there's a river in the way. And this road that we're on right here ends. <laughs> All right, we're back on route. Wasn't as bad as we thought, but now we're on a steep gravel road. <laughs> oh man, it's a really good thing the sun stays out late here. We need every bit of that sunshine. Oh, Allie's being a good sport. Oh, welcome to bike touring. we're lost in paradise. Look at how beautiful this is. It's so epic. Yeah. The Chutes River. We made it. Allie's getting into the water. We are both very sticky. This is the end of our first hot day. We figure a little bit of cold river water is the medicine we need. Hi Allie. There's nothing like a little bit of cold water to rejuvenate the soul and take the stank off. What are you eating for breakfast? I'm eating my lucky beans. And now it is time for camp cooking with Ryan. I'm going to make a Mexican crepe. All you need is a corn tortilla and Nutella and you've got yourself a Mexican crepe. That's pretty much the best way to start the day. Before we set off today, we're checking out the maps. We're essentially creating our route every day. We're not following some preset across America bike path. So every morning we navigate, we figure things out, and uh, we hope for the best, right? Yeah, it's cool. Our friends are giving us recommendations, and so far they've been really good. No flatties. No, no crashies, no, no windies, windies, no no, windies. no getting losties like yesterdaysies. We're gonna put some sage here for protection while we ride. I love sage. That's for me? Mm -hmm. Thank you. I love the smell of sage and it brings back a lot of nostalgic memories from my first outward bound trip when I was 16 years old. I'd never seen sage before until we went into the, the canyons of Utah. 
There is a lot of wheat out here. I don't think I've ever seen so much wheat in my life. This is a lot of gluten. And Allie's gluten intolerant, so <laughs> hopefully she is okay. The mic picking this up, you can hear these big power lines just crackling. Let's get out of here. America! I'm a big fan of small town America and having little picnics outside of small town American grocery stores. I've got an apple, which is surprisingly delicious and fresh and crispy, and some Tillamook cheese. Oregon born and raised and made. Whenever I get a chance, I try to eat local food and I bought a Ziploc bag full of peanuts covered in chocolate. And don't worry, mom, I also got an apple to be somewhat healthy. <laughs> um, when you burn a lot of calories, you can eat whatever you want. Your teeth might fall out at the end of the ride, but whatever. Going up a big mountain. Allie needs a little pick me up. Dot box. You want water? <laughs> Today has been a bit of a slog. Lots of headwind. As you can tell by uh, the windmills, there's lots of wind in this area and quite a bit of uphill. I was talking to Allie and I was like, you know, the first two weeks of this ride are really going to train us for the rest of the ride. We didn't train all that much before coming out here. <laughs> Now we're training, which is good. We're getting on-site training, and we're hoping to get to a town called Condon. And we really hope they have an awesome Mexican restaurant, which I know is a pipe dream, but you can always dream. I want some enchiladas. We made it! Oh my god! How are you feeling? Um, I feel a little roughed up. Got some pretty serious menstrual cramps, and it's a it's a tough way to ride. Yeah, and we've been on our bikes for nine hours into lots of headwind, into quite a bit of hills. So you're a you're a champ. We're steps away from a town. We're gonna eat some serious food, whatever that food is. Look at this place. This is so cool. Condon Diner, is that it? Oh, they have a market. Closed. We've been dreaming about food all day, and we thought we'd get here and there'd be some sort of a diner, and they're all closed. This town's kind of shut down. It's a really cute town, looks charming, but the hotel's even closed. So it's Snicker Bars for dinner. Yeah, I think there's probably a gas station. So. Ah, queso, it's what's for dinner. <laughs> Authentico estilo mexicano. You want some onions? What flavor do you want? Do you need a Kinder Egg? Ice cream sandwiches are my comfort food. It's the best. What did you get? What did you do? Oh, it's a goodie. $30 worth of gas station food. <laughs> that was kind of expensive. <laughs> really? That's 30 bucks, yeah. Since we're adults, we're allowed to eat ice cream dessert first. We can do what we want. Is it dinner time? Yep. Look at this gourmet dinner. We got green chips. Green chips, bean dip, queso, tortillas. Mm. It looks like art because it is art. We have beans, we have queso, we have the guacamole chips, and we have Cholula all in one. It's like a crunchy gordita they sell at Taco Bell. We're camping at the county fairgrounds. This is only a town of like, what you say, 500 people, teeny little town. Here we go with our little romantic Monday evening picnic. Mm. 